Irina Steryovich is a young theatre director in the capital Skopje, and she's very worried about the nationalists she sees on the streets of her city. They've been demonstrating every day for two and a half months now, carrying old and new Macedonian flags through the city centre past her favourite cafe. Skopje's young liberals gather here. They're horrified at the visible surge in nationalism. You can see on their faces, you know they are screaming Macedonia, Macedonia, but their faces are all filled with hate. Last year, Steryovic and thousands of others demonstrated for months in what was dubbed Macedonia's colourful revolution because protesters threw paint at official buildings. You have uh, uh, people uh, who are uh, going to prison for five years for stealing ten kebabs and uh, you have um, a government who is all in provisions, in, in ordering murders, in, in um, faking elections and uh, uh, all that, and they are still on the top of the chain. They, they can still order the police to let the people into the parliament. You know, there, there is very, very much power for, for someone who is um, criminalized. Numerous construction projects, including a colossal monument to Alexander the Great, were calculated to set Macedonian nationalism in stone. The initiative, Skopje 2014, is said to have cost a total of 700 million euros. Much of that money is thought to have been diverted into private accounts and the structures built were shoddy. That's another reason Steryovic and other protesters hit the streets last year. The young director sees Macedonia as a multi-ethnic republic. The population is about a quarter ethnic Albanian, plus a few smaller minorities alongside a Slavic Macedonian majority, which the nationalists are trying to rally. They, are, they teach them, practically, with everything, with media, with propaganda, with, with their speeches. They teach, they teach them that they don't have to do anything. Just be Macedonian, you know? And uh, by being Macedonian, you are right by any case. Irina Steryovic is certain the nationalist wave is part of a plan, that those in power are trying to cover up shady construction deals. Half of this that is uh, still on um, building, um, uh, now it's considered uh, illegal uh, buildings. Special prosecutors have since been assigned to investigate the allegations of corruption. These three women are working to build a case against the country's long-serving former prime minister. Many see it as a ray of hope for change. I hope so. We have to hand our list of indictments, the ones that we gathered evidence for, to the courts. But the decision for a conviction or acquittal is still up to the judge. Steryovic only hopes the anti-corruption investigators won't let themselves be intimidated by the outgoing nationalist-led government. You cannot get to that um, uh, emotional level with... with with fighting because you, you lose there. Although Macedonia remains deeply divided, Irina Stereovic still hopes the ideals of the colorful revolution will win in the end.